ready for a little play fight? Okay, don't hold back. I'm certainly not going to. This should be fun. Right then, let's have some fun, shall we?
That was just the workout I needed. You lot are tough. So you've the Dragoon Asterisk, eh? <laughs> no wonder you're such a handful. The Archbishop gave it to me so I'd be able to guard Master Gwydion better. But it's yours now. Oh, wait, you don't have to just hand it over, you know. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I can look after this place without it just fine. And something tells me you'll have far more use for it than I will. Well, if you insist, I will make the most of it, don't you worry. The people of Rheimdall think of Master Gwydion as a power beyond question. Right back to the age of our ancestors, he's been worshipped as a saviour. And the Archbishop is the Lord of Dragon's Mouthpiece. 
To all intents and purposes, his words are Master Gwydion's. Which means that those who go against those words can be sent to take the leap of faith and blamed for their own lack of belief if they die in the process. A very neat method of getting inconvenient people out of the way. I'd like to do something about it, but I'm the Master's guardian. I can't be away for too long, especially with him in the state he's in. What does your job entail exactly? The Guardian is specially selected by the Archbishop to watch over the Serpent's Grotto. This place is sacred. The townspeople aren't allowed anywhere near it. But the odd traveller or monster wanders in from time to time and someone needs to be here to deal with them. So you're out here all on your own? Must get lonely. It's the only way to keep prying eyes away, sadly. Ah, you poor thing. Anyway, since I can't come with you, can you promise you'll help the people of Rheimdall for me? Sure. We'll do everything we can. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Right, it's getting very late indeed. I think it's time we all turned in for the night, don't you? <laughs> You'll make sure everything gets sorted out in Rheindahl, won't you? You bet we will. There has to be someone in town who's as worried about what's going on as we are. Oh, why does everything involving humans have to be so complicated? I know, right? So, let's not make them more complicated. This time, while we're in town, you stay in the bag. <sighs> Fine. But be gentle, shove me in there, will you? Yeah, yeah. It'll only be for a little while. Oh, one more thing. It's about Gladys, the girl who works for the Chief Inquisitor. Her parents were priests, but they got caught up in all the panic about the fairies a while back and, well, they died. Oh. She thinks it was fairies that killed them. That's why she volunteered to become the Chief Inquisitor's assistant. It's also why she's so hungry for revenge. I had no idea. But if she knew the truth about what's been going on, maybe she'd see sense. So please, you have to do this for her sake too. We can't promise anything, but we'll do what we can. Oh, thank you, all of you. I'm sure you'll sort everything out. Let's have a drink of something nice and fiery to toast your success when we see each other next. I've got just the thing set aside. <laughs> now you're talking my language. I'll hold you to that. Ugh, I should have known better than to introduce you two. All right, let's head back to town. Take care out there.